guys, it's Marin. Welcome back to my video. So last week, some of you guys has been talking to me through my Facebook, which is Yiha Marin Facebook, and you mentioned that you want me to make a video about Thailand. And it took me a while to think about what I wanted to talk about and that you also might enjoy. So here it is, my favorite Thai foodie that I think you should try if you ever come to Thailand. guys so I have the list here with me on my phone because I just want to be a little bit more prepared like I promised you from last time so let's start with the first list the first list I have is probably my favorite all-time dish especially in the summer and especially in April so the first one is Khao Niao Ma Muang and you, you gotta say it right Khao Niao Ma Muang yeah Khao Niao Ma Muang is like sticky rice and mangoes with coconut milk so now that I'm describing it to you it's like heaven, mm. but you can taste it in your mouth, especially in this time of year. Sticky rice and mamuang, which is mangoes and coconut milk, which is gati, is probably like the best combination ever. You get that, you know, stickiness from the rice. You get, you know, the sweetness from mango. You get a little bit salty and creamier with the texture of gati with like coconut milk. So it's like divine and some of them put like a little nuts on top so that is also good as well I think they have like recommendations here so I'm gonna put it here of the recommendation place that you can check out which is good so definitely go there also if you are big fans of mango and sticky rice in Thailand we have like Suen Sen which is like a big ice cream chops where they make uh, accumulations of taste like mango sorbets, mango ice cream, like mango with waffle, everything that mango related and I think they're quite, they do a quite a good job with like the mango ice cream and all that because you know every year, especially in summer, I look forward to that time where I get to have my mango ice cream. <laughs> Also, if you live in Thailand, it's a little bit more easier to approach that because when sin is like everywhere in the department store. So once you get a little bit too hot outside, you get indoor and then you have like mango and sticky rice with ice cream. So that is also good. Number two, Mu Pen. I happen to have one at home right now, so hold that thought. I am back. So here it is. This is called Mu Pen, which is pork. It's made from pork. And I like to think that it's like the Thai version of bacon, which is like this. Excuse me. It tastes very sweet and salty. I like to crunch it all up and then put it on rice. You can have this with khao tom, which is like looking like this. But personally, I like to eat it alone, which is why I got into trouble so much with my mom because she thinks it's too salty to have on its own and I might have kidney problems. You can get this one in department stores as well and you can also get this one in Big C, which is like across from Central World. I give you the direction here in case you want to try this one out because I feel like it's worth trying, right? Next is in the equivalents of food that you have to try is mu yong, which is made from pork as well. As you can tell, mu means pork. So mu mu yong is like Donald Trump hair. Uh, sorry, that was just a joke. Mu yong, I like to think that it looks kind of like a guy with red hair. So it's pork cotton candy, which is exactly that. My one of my friends, one of my American friends, he mentioned that this tastes like pork cotton candy and it's actually that pork cotton candies except we eat it with rice and we eat it at like inside the sandwich we eat it with everything so you have to try it it's a little weird at first you might resent it but it's nothing gross about eating a pork with chuga on it I mean if you see like epic meal time you have to admit that pork and everything goes together also this one. This one is also made from pork. This one is mu tok, which is like pork and just basically if you translate it, it's gonna be like mu tok, which is pork being bang up, bang up pork, I guess. So yeah, you can have this. So it's like uh, made from pork again with sugar on it and a little bit of salt so I think you can tear this one up and eat it on its own. It looks like a squid that's made from pork and it's also very good if you want to try it. Definitely check this one out. Local loves it so why not try it right? Next on the list is also my favorites 
La Chong is my favorite. Why? Because you get this tiny green noodles inside uh, Gati again, which is coconut milk. If you pay attention, Thai sweet and Thai desserts are mostly made from coconut, and that's why it's so tasty. And the combination is of this green noodles that was made from, I think it was made from a tree or something. I reject. I decide not to know what it made of because I'm sure it have to be something good because it tastes divine. So La Chong is definitely, definitely you have to try it. Alright, the next thing, if you're into chip, definitely give this one a go. Chip, like potato chip, is like yesterday thing. If you come to Thailand, you have to, you have to promise me that you have to try durian chip. Durian on its own, like a lot of people quoted it, that's not me saying it. It say like it tastes like feet, but no, it's not taste like feet. Whoever say that definitely never try a durian before or never try a good durian. And if you reject the scent of it because it's quite a very strong scent, you can try durian chip because durian chip is like once you start, you have to finish it. And it's good because it's like the combination of something creamy but not sweet but very, very good when you're watching a movie. It's like the, if you compare everything together like potato chip, popcorn and all the nachos, my list would be like durian chips on top. It's pricey. And if you get it in like, let's say department store in Bangkok, it would be like the priciest chip you can ever get there. So if you went to anywhere close to beach, definitely get it from there because everything from Mayong, Pattaya, like from the eastern part of Thailand, durian chip is cheaper than the department store. Next on my favorite things is Kuei Baek Thok. <laughs> Next on my favorite thing is Kuei Break Bag. Kuei Baek Bag is actually banana break. It mean break bag. It mean like can't hold it. So I don't know. That's a very worse translation, but Kuei Baek Bag mean can't, you can't stop eating this banana, literally. And it's banana chips, which is like same thing with durian chip. And it's also what you have to try because if you tried it once, you will forget about potato chips full with GMOs and all the bad stuff. And you just enjoy all these natural ingredients in your mouth. So definitely try durian chips and banana chips. Probably, oh, I have to turn on the fan because it's summer here in Thailand and it's really, really hot. That's better. That's look crazy. That's better. I think a lot of people coming in, into Thailand are a bit more aware of where they should go, like where to travel and all that, but not so much as sweets and like all this cool stuff. I feel like whenever people ask me about what they should do in Thailand and when they shop, I always secretly want to go back to them and then t tell them about all the good things they miss out. Like for example, um, someone was like shopping on the supermarket and they like totally neglect neglected durian chip and they just put all this American food and American snacks on their basket because that's what they're familiar to. But if once you try something a bit more localized, you can get like the whole taste, like the whole experience of the country. So why not try this, right? What I was gonna say is the snacks. Yeah, the snack that you can get anywhere, especially in a department store, um, is one of this uh, sarai noi, sarai hokea noi, which is made from seaweed. Like I said, I put the picture here in case you need, you need a reference. And the other one is okusno. Okusno is also my favorite snacks, and I think I have it here again. So hold on. Okay, so I found it. I found what left of it because I'm pretty sure I had it yesterday. This one is okusno. It is shrimp chin mix snacks original and I think it tastes really good. I mean I resent it at first because it feels weird to eat a part of shrimp that you wouldn't normally eat but it was... I'm gonna open it right now so you can see what's inside of it. So inside of it looks like this. Tasty. I don't have any more word for it. I think yeah, I think you have to try it because there are a lot of weird snacks in Thailand that I that are not good, but this one is good. So it's a shrimp chin snack, which you can eat with rice. You can eat on top of the salads. You can eat on top of anything you wouldn't want to have. Personally, I eat it alone because 
like I said, I have no self-control when it comes to food. Next up, my favorite Thai snack. You can get this one in a yutia. And why? Because it's roti sai mai. Roti is like, I don't know, roti is looking like this. Sai mai is cotton candy. And how you eat it, you put sai mai like on top of everything and then just make like a little roll. And then you can eat it all like that. It's a lot more fun to eat than eating a cotton candy alone and you can make it with your friends. I personally like to buy a lot and just do it at home with my sister while we're watching movies. Also very fun to make with your friends and your loved ones. Last but not least is coconut ice cream. And this one you can get it at JJ Market. Uh, they think they have a pretty good one. They also have a pretty good other shops out there that sells coconut ice cream. A little bit more di a little bit different than what you can get at Svensson's or let's say other big ice cream place. You can get this one pretty much on the market, like on the side of the street anywhere. In Kaosan Road they sell it as well. So it's pretty like um, approachable snacks to try out in Thailand. I think you could definitely use some if you come here to Thailand in this time of month. I don't even know why I have this shirt on because it's like really really hot and I have to have my fans on. But you know, fashions. I don't. I like doing this type of video so if you have any more recommendation or if you want to talk to me and ask me anything about Thailand you can do that on so Yihamarin because a lot of you guys have been really you know, really, really nice and come up and say hi to me on my on, on my Facebook and it's really nice to read all your messages on you know, all your emails. So if you have any more questions about Thailand, about anything at all that I could help, please feel free to leave them on my social media's link, Instagram and Facebook. Alright guys, so that is it for my video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Or if you want to stick around, subscribe. Feel free to do that as well. And i see you on my next video. Bye-bye! Hey guys, it's Marin. Welcome back to my videos. In today's video, I'll be doing my first impression of the Fakora Placenta White Max. Actually, a placenta, which is uh, the placenta. And it sure looked like fun, so stick around.